35 proofs everybody's favorite part of geometry so there will certainly be a proof on the regents maybe more than one um, so expect it hopefully it won't be a terribly hard one this isn't hard it's a little long but it's um, something that you should certainly be capable of if you've just done a year of geometry so I'm confident you can get through it given AD bisects BC at E and these other givens prove that AB is congruent to DC so let's mark up the diagram of some of the given information and I'm not even going to write the given information because you get the idea so the first step is blah 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 it's just this stuff over here and that's given and then the second step do a line the second step we'll figure out what that's going to be so we have all this given stuff if AD bisects BC at E then BC is being bisected at E so BE must be congruent to EC since since BC is being bisected and AB and BC AB is perpendicular to BC so that's a right angle and DC is perpendicular to BC so that's a right angle and we want to know that we want to prove that AB is congruent to DC so this guy is congruent to this guy well it seems to me that we can prove those two are congruent if they're parts of congruent triangles right because corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent and we need one more piece of information to do that we can use the fact that these here are vertical angles and then we'll have an angle a side and an angle so that'll do it so now we just gotta write it all up so the first thing we want to establish after the givens is that angle ABE ABE is congruent to angle DCE angle DCE because all right triangles are congruent all sorry all right angles are congruent and I'm gonna write this kinda of shorthand but you know listen to what I'm saying as well so we know from the given okay and we have to also say that BE is congruent to EC because we haven't said that yet BE is congruent to EC and that's based on the definition of a bisector okay so we've established that B is congruent to EC we've established that angle B is congruent to angle C because all right angles are congruent and now we have to establish that AEB angle AEB is congruent to angle DEC because they are vertical angles vertical angles all right and now we have enough to prove the triangles congruent so let's go after those triangles triangle ABE is congruent to triangle DCE and that's by ASA angle side angle and now that we have the triangles congruent we can say that their parts are congruent so now we can go right after what we're looking to prove AB is congruent to DC which is because corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent CPCTC is the short way of saying that and that's it